Tuesday. Yep, we got lay care, don't care. Today we uh, had to be up very early this morning. So we're gonna play. I've got my stamp set ready. Woo woo! Oh, you can't see it. Just a second. Should I show you it? Would you like to see what we're creating with? Huh, weird concept, huh? I'm just, I'm sliding my camera just slightly up. So by the time that I flick you guys over to it, we're all good. I've already turned off the echo. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna see if anybody makes it on with us. But we're gonna use woo -woo, the Lovely For You stamp set and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I'm casing. Yeah, oh, look at Laura, woo woo, I know. Hi, loves. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to me. Um, you're gonna notice when I go live right now, there's gonna be a little bit of casing going on. I have so many big events coming up that require a ton of designing that I'm not getting a lot of time to create. Oh, there's a Cooper behind me. Extra projects. I have a feeling he's going to pop up to say hello to you. Just a sec, we'll see if he does. Coop, what's this? Come here, come here. Help, help. No, now you're not gonna do it. It's all he does all the time. Anyway, hello from Montreal. So you will notice when I jump on, when I have the chance, because I miss you guys horribly, that I am gonna be going, oh, there's Cooper. Okay, see? He says, hello, everybody. Mommy, what are you doing? Mommy, what are you doing now? Um, but I will be doing a little bit of casing because I can't give away surprises. I've got a big catalog launch event coming up at the end of August for my customers and my downline as well. And then I have got a creative convention for my downline that I'm getting to do with Rhonda um, and Erica in the States. And so tons of planning and tons of prepping, not a lot of extra time. So getting to kind of play with these now. On back order, uh, it probably is on back order right now, but you know what? Hang on. Well, should I check? Hang on. I will check that for you right now. I just love this one. It's super cute. So I'm able as a demonstrator just to log in and check what we have called an inventory status. Um, it's not a big deal when an item is, yeah, it is on back order. It is, it's not unorderable, which is awesome. Cooper's back like this, my shoulder. Hello, mom. Um, it is going to ship on August the 10th, which is just in a few short days. The great thing about ordering it now is you will actually be able to use your $6 off coupon. So you would get your $6 off coupon for every 60 that you spend this month. I'm just, I'm doing my quick double check just to see, I always like to scan and see which item is on back order. It's the punch. Okay, and they have tons coming in and it is not unorderable. So you can order this now, okay? Which is great for us because then you can earn that $6 off coupon and use the rest. Laura, well, hello, Cooper. I know Cooper is like, uh, everybody, please look at me. So we're going to jump over here. Now, Stampin' Up! has been doing this amazing kind of thing for demonstrators. We're going to alter it a little bit just to kind of make it suit our needs. But then I know, Carrie, he's so sweet. Um, but we've got this gorgeous kind of, oh, I like that. You're my person. Um, we've got this gorgeous... I totally forgot what I was just saying. Oh, layout. And we've got these amazing ideas that Stampin' Up's giving us monthly right now. And so I thought, you know what? That's great. Let's jump in and share those because I can't share the rest with you um, until later. It's not matching up. Really? Hmm. That's very odd. You wanted to give you all a Percocet winky. Oh, you're so cute. Is it still doing it? Am I doing it now? That's very bizarre. Sometimes if you log out and log in, it fixes it. Um, yes, anyway, so I'm gonna mount my stamp as I talk to you. You all, well, for any of you who are new, you wouldn't know this, but we have this beautiful Rhodesian Ridgeback as well. So the one that you just saw was Cooper. He is my seven and a half month old pointer. And then I have a two and a half year old Ridgeback and his name is Harley. Now, Harley has another name. Harley's other name was 12K. Yes, that's how much he has cost us in vet bills since we got him. Now, <laughs> we, uh, he is the most wonderful dog in the world, but he has he's got some health issues that no vet has been able to figure out. And they figure maybe a little bit of autoimmune. Okay, pause. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking a sanding block to a brand new stamp just to take the little kind of filmy residue off of it. Um, I find that it helps me stamp way better when I first use a stamp that's brand new. It doesn't kind of get blotchy. Okay, anyway, so my sweet Harley Bean, we have no idea what is wrong with him. I'm trying to decide whether to stamp off here. We'll, what we'll do, we'll test. So if I were to go full strength, it's going to be like that. I feel like that's a little bit intense. So we're going to come over on the other side. We are going to grab a scrap 
so that I don't wreck my new page that I have just written this morning. Um, Harley, the most expensive dog. Yes, that's his name. And he's, he's so worth every penny. Anyway, sweet Harley Bean, we kind of had a little setback again yesterday. And my sweet boy ended up back in the vet with a fever and vomiting, you know, just kind of par for the course. Anyway, so yeah, his name's going to have to change from 12K, guys. We had to have x-rays because they thought maybe he had an intestinal blockage. The things we don't do for our fur babies. Honestly, I think my fur babies have the best life possible. Anyway, so that was my yesterday, which of course meant today was jam-packed with creating because I got deadlines we got to meet here, people. Hello, Roz. Oh, Kathleen, thank you. So you'll notice all I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm just stamping off before I stamp on there. And you'll notice it just gives it a little bit softer look. Now, for those of you who are new to the stamping world, I do want to show you one other technique. Hang on. Of course, I didn't clean my, or didn't wet my chamois before I came on, so I don't want to stick that on a dry chamois. But, hi, Kim, I miss you. Um, I want to show you, if you don't have pool party ink, okay, but you want this look on pool party paper, check this out. Versamark, you can use this on any color of paper. So, Chris, I'm thinking of you as I'm doing this because I know you want to have all your ink. So, what you can do is Versamark ink gives you that same, you can see it there, that same kind of effect. You can stamp what they call tone on tone, which is kind of fun, okay? So, we're going to come back over here, but I just used my pool party. But the Versamark is a great alternative for those of you who do not have all of your ink pads. Her, yeah, allergies are the pamper princess next to me. I know these guys. Harley has had everything, and it's so random, and it always comes, Kath, oh, hang on. Uh, Linda, it always comes with a fever, always. And fever and white blood cell count goes through the roof. So not related to allergies. What stamp set? Hi, Dennis. We're using Lovely You with the coordinating punch, okay? Hi, you guys. Oh, God, you make me happy to see you. And still, oh, Kathleen, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's absolutely mind-blowing how, well, I mean, vets are expensive. Okay, next one we've got. This is, and I didn't even check the colors in the actual sample that they did. I'm going with a little bit of magenta madness. So, with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take this super cute little floral stamp, and we'll get rid of my stamp off piece, and we are going to jump over here, dude, dude. pull that off, toss it in the bin, and then we got to match this up. Okay, so this is the only part I do, hang on, I have to focus for like two seconds, there we go, just two though. Because let's seriously, let's be honest, it's probably as long as I can focus. Is that the right way? That doesn't feel like it's the right way, people. I have to find the right match for that. It's you. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to go like this, and we're going to stick that one on. And we're going to pull it off. Okay, we got it. Whew. Lovely you, Stam. Hi, you guys. Okay, so with this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the coordinating punch. So this is the punch that goes with these. It did take me a little bit of getting used to it, okay? So don't panic. Now what you'll notice on the punch is you've got these kind of funny things with like these little hashtag marks. So what you can do is these punches will accept one inch, three quarter inch, and a half inch strips of paper. Now you can go narrower than those, but it just requires a little bit of fandangling on the back side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this one. And I've done here, that's the one inch one. So you can see how kind of cool that border looks. Okay, the next one I've got here is I have got the half inch strip. So I'm going to feed him into the next track. Ta -ta. And then we get this kind of cute coordinating thing. Oh dear, she's got to focus. Oh yeah, she does focus. I, I can every once in a while. Laura loves to wrap me up, just so you know. And then this is my half inch strip. Now I went with Bumblebee on this one, okay? So I've got a little half inch strip. But you'll notice that the punch, each one, based on the thickness of your strip, it kind of creates a little bit different, which is kind of fun. I know the sentiments are so cute, Roz. Okay, so I'm gonna move my punch aside. I'm not gonna put my Versamark down. I'm gonna put it away. We're gonna grab that really cute magenta madness and we're gonna grab 
my coordinating ink. We're going to ink that guy up. And then we're just going to go a little cray cray. Now, oh, I just schmucked sh one. Um, I don't want you to um, get them all kind of in line. So kind of try and, and like, you know, mix them up a little. Now, we've probably gone far enough. But I have to tell you this, that's going to make me loopy, the fact that I did not press perfectly on that end. So just kind of keeping it in line with what I did the other day. We're going to redo it. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you missed my Facebook Live on Saturday, it was actually, it was comical. I could not do anything right. I screwed up one thing after the other and I had to re-stamp and re-punt. Oh, it was just, it was comical. Anyway, it's all good. It's life. We were just meant we were on longer than we planned. Okay, so we've got that all kind of cute. Hi, Namiji. Okay, next we're going to go in here and we're going to grab a cute little bumblebee one. We have got some leaves. Just a sec. Let me pull those. Doot, doot. Well, you know, but Chris, like that's the part. I think sometimes, I think that's why as stampers, we love watching videos because it means that we get those tips. Oh, I can totally tell Sean's home. I could trim that. Did you fix your own, oh, my pad? Eh, it was fine. I kind of blotted it. It was a good, yeah, it got real. It got super real. We had a good laugh. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so let's get this guy. We need another clear block. Hello there, husband. How are you? Oh, you're so cute, my husband's saying. Not my husband, it's Laura's husband saying, hello, paper lady. A little bit of bumblebee. Hi there. And then I'm just inking up those cute little leaves. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we're gonna put them on. Whoop. Boop. Boop. There we go. We don't need that long. It doesn't actually matter because we're not using that much of it. Okay. It was a great live. As she showed me, I'm not the only. No, Marcy, I can. Hi, Marnie. I always giggle because people are always like, how do you know how to fix that? I'm like, because I just made the same mistake eight and a half seconds ago. Okay. So we're going to close that one up and then we're just, now we've got some gorgeous sentiments. We've got, you're my person just because, um, trust me, you're love. We're going to go with, you're my person. Does anyone else remind you of Grey's Anatomy when they see that one? Your, I need to find it and I can't read. There, you're my person. I can read. Sorry. Um, and then where did the, interesting, I lost the stamps. There we go. Tips the best. Yes, I know. Cause Carolyn, do you not find, and I know you've been stamping forever too, hon, but like me, do you not find that sometimes you can watch someone's video and you're like, really? I didn't know that. And then I get all excited cause I learned something new. Okay, am I blind? Where does it say you're my person? There it is. Whew. It was kind of like, I don't know about you guys, but when my children would get their Lego sets, I was always convinced there was like a stamp, or, or not a stamp. I was always convinced there was a piece missing. And no, 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 I just never looked hard enough. It was always there. Okay, so I'm coming here. I'm going to mount you. Sharing is caring. Yes, it is, girl. Okay, and then we need another clear block and then I think I'm gonna I don't know what color they used on theirs but I'm gonna grab early espresso for mine I don't know I, I do I do prefer you love Grey's Anatomy hi Cor how are you Corey did say she I got a phone call from Cor going and I am so proud you persevered through that Facebook live because I think she thought it was gonna be one of my temper tantrum moments Okay, I can't see. So hang on, we're gonna do my trick. I'm gonna slide this up. I can't stamp white on white. So we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna stamp on there. You're my person. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we've got those little bits. All of our bits are ready. Now, they did not do this, but we are going to. Don't put the ink pad down, put it away. We are gonna take this cute little piece that we did, but we're gonna emboss it. I wanna add, we need to zhuzh it a bit. So, I'm gonna grab my lovely die cutting machine that has seen much better days. But we don't care because we're getting a new one. August the 4th. And we're gonna pick, what should we pick? I think we're gonna pick this, but I have to find the paper first. Where's the paper that I stamped? Oh, there it is, it's okay, it's underneath. 
I knew you would rock it. Ah, but you've seen me rock it before. That was the piece you would step on barefooted. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's put this in. We're going to give it, this is our tasteful textiles, or tasteless textiles, all depending on what you want to call it. The name's Anne, you just change it up. Crank it through now. Okay. I've got this. So I, ju I just wanted to, I don't know, we added a little bit of texture to it, okay? So let's remove this. Let's remove this. I'm not putting it down, I'm putting it away. We're saving it on, on cleaning time later. Not really, because I feel like you're still spending the same amount of time. I don't know, whoever told you that is full of it. Okay, now let's kind of slide everything back into focus where we want it. Ta -da. Now, let's just, I'll show you what their layout look like. So this kind of is going to go onto here. They did use a smaller piece. I don't know. I was more inclined to go big. So you just, you roll with what you like. Then we've got a little bit of this. We've got this up here, as long as I stamped everybody correctly. And then we have got this one who's going to over, oh, it's so cute. And then we're going to have to add rhinestones. So... <laughs> Because the card's not done if you don't add rhinestones. We're not going to glue this one down yet. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with this. Hi, love. Hello. I'm just doing my Facebook Live. Sean's back. Sean went to my mom and dad's house to go water their plants. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And we're just going to adhere that to there. Okay, perfect. Why did you use the blue piece instead of the clear piece to emboss? Ah, perfect. So Cindy, the new embossing folders that Stampin' Up! made, so the ones that now do not say Sizzix on them, okay? So if your embossing folder does not say Sizzix and it's the new thick ones, you do have to use that new, uh, or you had to use the blue plate. Now, people are panicking because they're like, the blue plate didn't carry over into the next catalog. And they use that voice. I'm just kidding. They don't. Um, so... <laughs> It did, it's just got, it's not blue anymore and it has a different name and I can't remember what it is right now but I don't want you to panic if you missed the blue plate because you can still get the plate but not blue. Shawnee Kim Hetherington says hello. Sean says hi Kim. Okay, I'm gonna put that down on there and hope that my, yep, yeah, dimensionals made it on. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna let that color go right to the edge of my card. Does that make sense? And then we'll trim it. So we're gonna just go over here, and you can see my side. That was the side where we were doing the practice on. I was showing you a little bit about the Versamark, and we decided whether or not we wanted to stamp full force or um, stamped off, and we went with the stamped off. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. There. So, so. Then we're gonna grab, keep playing the mini trimmer. Gosh, I love this mini trimmer. Okay, and we're just going to slide my whole card right in. So we're going to go like this, feed everybody through, da -da, line my edge up with my card thing, and chop! <laughs> okay, we got all those bits off. <laughs> I love it. Corey's remembering she forgot to respond to Kim. Okay, so we got that. Now, I am going to give it a couple little finishing zhuzhes. I'm feeling like I want a little bit of that white crinkle ribbon and I would like just a couple of rhinestones and then we are all done. Specialty plate. Thank you, Carla. Carla went and checked for us. Carla is on. On like Donkey Kong. Okay, get rid of that. Don't need it. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go. Oh, we're going to use my bow maker because I want it to look pretty. Do I know where the bow maker is right now? I feel like I put it in a cupboard and I can't see it. Nope, if I were a bow maker, where would I be hiding? Oh, there you are. I knew which cupboard it was in, it just got stuck behind stuff. Off with its extra paper, yes, it's like off with its head. Okay, so, Sean cannot make these till we get back to Vancouver at the end of August, but I know some people had said to me, Ange, I would like one. He just doesn't have the particular tools that he uses here. Okay. And he's on holidays until. So come through and go like that. Boop, boop. Get our cute little bow. Chop off the extra bits. 
only that were e that easy in real life to get rid of the extra bits. Okay, so we're going to put this one down in here, and then we're going to add our rhinestones, and we're going to call it done. And we're all going to go eat dinner. Oh, Carolyn, you're so sorry. I know, do you not feel like I miss you guys? I miss events. Can we use old embossing folders with a new die cutting machine? Uh, yeah, girl, you can. You're totally good. Do not stress about that. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on here. I'm going to watch. This is a big glue dot, so I'll show you what I do. I just roll it up. So I kind of, I don't want him to, you know, hang out and stick on to other cards or other things. So I just kind of narrow them down, get them on there. I'm trying to put, do you like that? I was trying to put the cap for the seal onto my take a pick tool and that is not gonna fly. Okay, so let's go. We are going to go one big, then we're going to go one medium, and then we're going to go one, two, I miss places, I know, that's such a good, I miss places. Yeah, me too. There we go, my loves. So super cute little summery card. I love that someone said it was summery. It totally is. So we just did a little bit of extra zhuzhing. We added some texture to the background. We stuck a little bit of ribbon on, a few rhinestones, and away we go. Okay, so my dears, whoop, whoop. there we go, yes. Um, remember, we do have a new catalog coming out next week, next Tuesday, this time next Tuesday. All craziness is going to break loose. But I want you to remember right now, anything that you need right now in the month of July, I want you to head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com if you live in Canada. Make sure to use the host code. For every $6 you spend, you're going to get a, uh, for every $60 you spend, you're going to get a $6 off coupon. Good for next month. We will. You can put it towards your new die cut machine if you're a demo. Um... And if you are purchasing online from me, please remember with every $50 order, I do send you out a cute little make and take pack and a PDF <coughs> to go with it. So there you go, my dears. Have an amazing evening and I will try and be on for you again tomorrow. Bye.